High Park in Toronto. I am reading Lagoon by Nettie Okorafor. I am buddy reading this with a friend. And um, I think I'm on page... My arm is gonna get tired, so who knows how long this video is gonna be. But I'm on page 72. So this is gonna be my quick currently reading video because I am absolutely loving... Um, okay, new angle. This is not... Wow, my arms. My arms. <laughs> um, this is going to be a currently reading because I am not done, but I also just wanted to say hi and it's, excuse me, it is finally nice in, <coughs> in Toronto and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in a forest and why not, why not hang out on camera? So what is Lagoon? Lagoon was published in 2014, I believe, by Nettie Okorafor. Uh, it is a standalone novel. Uh, it is African futurism. Um, actually, it might be, yeah, African futurism. And it follows uh, a, cast of a cast of characters, but there are three main characters, um, Anthony, Agu, and Akoswa. They meet on a beach one evening all three of them are walking towards each other from different directions um they all have their own stories <laughs> maybe have allergies um they'd never met before that point uh anthony is a soldier sorry anthony is a um a pop star famous pop star agu is a soldier and um akoswa is a uh marine biologist I believe, yeah, marine biologist, I believe. Uh, and so they meet on this beach and then something strange happens. There's this huge sound um, booming. They, uh, they, they realize it's a sonic boom or it gets, it gets called a sonic boom or a sonic event. Um, and then the, there's a big wave and it pulls all three of them underwater. Um, they wake up the next hour, day, at some point, they're all together again um, and they're trying to figure out exactly what just happened and what it all means. Except when they wake up together, they're accompanied by a beautiful black woman whose movements are too perfect to be human. Um, and they spend time with this woman who gets uh, named Ayodele. Uh, and I'm at the point where things start to happen. We start to Number one, try to figure out what that sonic boom was. Number two, try to figure out who this Ayodele woman person is. Uh, and then we also need to figure out like why those three people, why did those three people end up on the beach at that moment? What happened to them when they went underwater? Um, what's going on? Why is the water rising? Why was there a sonic boom? And, and why is all of this happening in Lagos, Nigeria? So as you know, I, um, I want to read more, uh, fiction, more science fiction, coming out of places outside of North America. So I'm trying this year to read more African science fiction, more Caribbean science fiction, more uh, Latin American science fiction, uh, which is technically not outside of North America, but still, still on Turtle, Turtle, Turtle Island. And also more science fiction of the like European, um, like the European uh, diasporic communities. So anyway, I'm enjoying the book. It is so much fun. It's got trans rep. It's got, um, does it have, I think it has, yes, I think it has some representation of people with mental illnesses. Um, it's got an interesting critique on religion and colonization and militarization um, and state influence. Um, it's got um, some really interesting um, like love bombs about Nigeria and the beauty of Nigeria and the beauty of Lagos and the beauty of the people. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying it. And I look forward to providing you with a full review, but that is, that is Lagoon by Nettie Okorafor that I'm currently reading. Enjoy your Saturday. Thanks for watching. If you like this little teaser, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, then, you know, subscribe. Because if you like it, you should get more of it. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, just enjoy. Enjoy your reading. Bye.